Hello, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So of course, as usual, we are going to start off by hiding our eyebrows. I'm using a glue stick for this and you just want to flatten them as much as possible. Once you've done that, I'm then taking a white face paint. I will list exactly the products I used in the description box below. You just want to take a sponge and start dabbing on your face. I'm doing this mainly focusing on the upper areas of my face because of course the bottom area is gonna be in black. I didn't actually have a proper makeup sponge. I'm actually using a kitchen sponge that's cut into a small piece. And as you can see, the texture of the paint is quite different. And then grabbing a bigger brush, I'm just going to paint my body in white. Make sure that it's as least patchy as you can get it and as even as possible. Taking some black, I'm just going to go ahead and start creating the roots or the shadows. I'm just literally painting them on and just kind of mapping out the shape and just slowly building my way up. Now ignore the fact that I put some blue on my chin. I was going to do the colours first but then I kind of changed my mind and thought it'd be easier to do the shape first. So before getting any further detailed into my eyes, I thought it'd be a good idea to slot my sclera lenses in and then I'm just going to go ahead and start painting the outline line on my eyes so I'm just simply taking some black and I'm just lining underneath my eyes and on top as well. So I'm just creating these lines so that they're quite thick and bold. This is going to create the illusion that my eyes are even bigger and I'm also going ahead and just taking some white and I'm filling in the rest that are missing. Next, I'm just taking the same black and I'm just gonna create some eyebrows. So I'm beginning the eyebrows where my natural brow begins and then I'm kind of taking it up so it's quite high and almost angry looking. Maybe start off with a thin line and kind of build your way up slowly. And I've also created a gradient effect where the eyebrows begin to make it look a little bit more natural and realistic. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm creating a line on the crease of my eye and then I'm just taking some eyeshadow, some black eyeshadow, and I'm just going to apply this onto the crease. I'm using a small amount of product and I'm just building my way up slowly but surely, just adding a bit more each time and I'm using small circular motions to get a nice even blend. Of course you want to do the same on the other eye and just keep slowly building your way up and I'm using a stronger pigment as it goes towards the line that I created and I'm kind of fading it as it goes outwards. This is going to create some depth to the eyes and just make it look really pretty. Now grabbing a thinner paintbrush and some black paint, I'm just creating lines underneath my eye. This is going to add a little bit of creep to it and just create some details and it just looks really dark almost. And then just continuing on, I'm just adding more and more lines and roots. So I'm creating thicker lines that's almost like thunder shaped. And then I'm creating some thinner lines coming out of that. So it kind of goes from thick to thin. Yeah, I'd say it does look like thunder or roots as well. Like this kind of a main root and then it has like tinier pieces coming out of it. So next we are going to take some black paint once again and we are going to create a third eye. So very simple, I'm literally just going to paint the shape of an eye, trying to match it to my real eyes as much as I possibly can. I'm then creating creases on the top and bottom, which is literally just two thin lines. And then I'm taking a sponge and I'm just going to grab a bunch of different colours and start dabbing on some random colours here and there. It's literally just patches of reds, yellows, greens, blues, purples, whatever you can imagine. And then I'm taking some black and I'm just going to continue creating roots on my neck as well. 
And then I'm also applying this onto my chin areas to kind of separate the colors and just start to create a almost like galaxy feel. So just experiment, play around, have fun with it, and eventually you will find the results you are looking for. Exactly the same as you did on your face, you then want to do it on the bottom of your chest and just start creating some more roots. And as you can see, I've already applied some colours as well, fading upwards. I just used a sponge for this and just dabbed gently. Next, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just moving my shoulders forward so that my collarbones kind of stick out a little bit. And I'm just applying some eyeshadow where the grooves sit on my chest. I'm also doing this in the middle and this is just going to define my collarbones and really bring them out. I'm then applying some black eyeshadow also on some other areas just to make it a little bit more dirty and dark. I'm then also taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply this above my third eye. This is going to create a bit more of a realistic and 3D feel. And then taking some white eyeliner or you can use a face paint. I'm using the NYX white eyeliner. For this you just want to start creating some stars on your face. So this is literally just dots, sparkles and little mini shooting stars. And feel free to touch up on any colours, blacks or roots that you may need. And of course do the same on your body and then for the final touch-ups i'm taking some black and i'm just applying this on my face as well to give it a bit more of a dirty feel i'm creating soft vertical lines and this is just going to make the whole piece a bit more interesting Thank you so much for watching my video, I really hoped you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you ever recreate my looks, please feel free to tag me on Instagram at gothspectrum, I would love to see what you come up with. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. Also follow me on Instagram at gothspectrum if you'd like to see much more of this kind of content and finally I will see you next time.